Today is May 4th. We're your anchors, Jenna and Renee. I'm interviewing Mr. McDade today on rugby. And my question is, have, how has rugby changed this year, or if it has? Uh, rugby's different this year in that there's no contact. So uh, the, the province of New Brunswick has decided that at this point in time, rugby will be, uh, it's called New Zealand touch variation. It's a, a, a version of the game that schools in New Zealand will play as a training game, where instead of tackling, you just have a two-hand tag. And um, that way, you're not ending up in a pile and they, they figure that will mm -hmm. allow for better distancing. There is typically a lot of distancing on the field aside from those tackle breakdowns. Like you typically do have quite a bit of space between players, so mm -hmm. they feel the touch version is going to be the safest way to go at the moment and a way for kids to still get out and run around. Um, typically, rugby would be with 15 players, but this is 10s, so there will be 10 players per side, and um, it'll, it's full field, so there will be a lot of running. People will be tired. <laughs> yeah. And what is your age range? We have um, we s we have high school teams, so the girls team is for sure going to have enough players for to be up and running. The boys, I'm not 100% sure of at the moment, so that is for grades 9 through 12. Middle school rugby at the moment is being um, led by Mr. McGee and Mr. Butler. Mm -hmm. They're running the Rugby Canada Rookie Rugby Program, and that actually allows us to, to have a U12 and U14 divisions. Mm -hmm. So we're actually, last night they were on the field and they had um, – nearly 30 players. They had a few grade five students from St. George Elementary and the rest were players from Fundy. Oh. Yep. Have you ever played in high school? I learned to play in high school. So I played three years of rugby in high school. That's where I learned the sport. Um, I had a great coach who was patient with us because we were all new to the game. Um, at that point in time, there was no rookie rugby or middle school rugby really happening. So most people got their start in high school. And I fell in love with the game, so I played on through university. And still, the last few years I haven't played as much, but I'm still getting out there. Thank you very much. No problem. Morning songs for this week are Monday, Bizarre Love Triangle by New Order, Tuesday, Ugly Heart by GRL, Wednesday, Wide Open Spaces by Dixie Chicks, Thursday, Oceans Away by Arizona, and Friday, Seeing Blind by Niall Horn and Marin Morris. And the hint is, this teacher has a son who sometimes supply teachers at our school. Central Skills class will be selling raffle tickets on this table they built. See Mr. Kirkpatrick or any of the class members for details. Fundy Middle and High School is participating in Bike to School Day on Wednesday, May 5th. To participate, meet at one of the following designating starting locations, departures at 7.30 a.m., or start biking from your own house. Helmets are required. Yearbooks must be personalized and purchased by May 1st. You have the choice between hardcover or softcover. Hardcovers are $39.36 and softcovers are $26.49, taxes included. Purchases must be online through Visa or MasterCard. You get four free personalized pages, and each additional personalized page is $150. If a tutorial is needed, visit the link in the flyer below. Hey Mariners, we're looking for people to interview for the morning announcements. Let us know if you or one of your friends does something interesting around the school, around the community, or just has something you'd like to share with us. You can let us know by talking to Miss Stewart or putting your name in one of the drop boxes on either the middle school floor or the high school floor.
guys have a great day. And may the force be with you.